What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. No alchemy, uh, yeah, no alchemy run. Uh, since last time, I got the Metal King Helm. Uh, picked up a couple of uh, mini metals, uh, just a couple stragglers. Um, one of which was in Fairbury, uh, in the church. Uh, apparently, there's a uh, another room in the church, like a big kitchen and stuff, where you can go and get a. Uh, there's a chest with the that you can open with the thieves key that I completely forgot about, and so yeah, they can get a mini metal there. And that was a uh, that was one of them. Uh, a couple more that I found one in Pickham, another one in uh, Mail Abbey that I just forgot. Just like random chests and barrels and uh, you know pots and uh, drawers and stuff. Uh, you know, just stuff you could just get like with a uh, simple curiosity. Um, but yeah, uh, cool, right? So, there you go, I got the Metal King, Metal King Helm. I guess it protects from spells or something, I don't know, man, whatever. I guess it's the same as the Dragon Rogue, I don't know. But I gave it to Angelo because, you know, he's my healer and I need him to survive. So, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Right. So, let's uh, keep going here. Dark the Black Sighted Owl. Yeah. Got more Red 13 statues. Yeah. Or more Sato statues, rather. Yeah, this is like the last little section of the, uh, of the Black Citadel, so. And enemies that I can't get away from. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. Sneezes. Good God, 64 damage. Jeez. And everyone's gonna lose the turn now. How does that shock anybody? I'd be like... I'm just shrug. I would be like, man. Oh, come on. Really, game? Of course, it doesn't work on Angelo. He's already knocked over from the underpants pants. Wow. Yay, everyone's gonna do. Oh, wow. Oh, that didn't do anything to Angelo. Did you see that? That did nothing to him, like 16 damage to him. Ha! Probably because he has silver shield, amongst other things, I imagine. Or with a dragon robe, yeah, that's right. Let's go ahead and heal. As well. Yeah. There we go. Got plenty of prayer rings, so I don't need to worry about anything of that sort. Use as much magic as I want. So I think we have to go in here, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I'm gonna do, anyways. Great, now my nose is stuffy because of sneezing. Awesome. Yeah, now I have to get all the way down to level 1, so. Yeah. And it's a very straightforward path. But of course, I'm gonna compulsively check the map, just like I always do. Foul fighters. I'm gonna show these guys off. I may as well take him down. May as well show off uh, Lightning Storm. Yeah. Oh, Typhoia Small uh, only hits one enemy. I didn't know that. And whatever. Shining Shot, and just go and just attack. Jeez, do a ton of damage. Unbelievable. Oh, great. Hey, hey, no one got, uh, no one got their turn lost by that. Nice. Good. They, they can strike twice, apparently. Jeez. Governor just got his ass kicked. And Governor's like, alright. So you wanted it, you got it. Lightning Storm. Nice. Wow, that did a ton of damage. Yeah, Lightning Storm is really good. Uh... Master uh, Swords or Courage, you get Giga Slash. And if you, if you Master Swords and Courage, you get a thing called Giga Gash, which is unceremoniously or whatever. It's un, un, ungodly. It, it's insane. It's retarded. It does a ton of damage. I think it does like, like 400 damage without being psyched up on all enemies. It's ridiculous. 
gives you an incentive to level up courage and uh, swords, I guess. Oh, I haven't fought these guys. Frau Frau or Fro Fro is what the hell they're called. Let's go ahead and call on our monster team there. In like sin. Blow my nose when we're at it. That's why I don't sound like I have a cold this whole video. Excuse my short intermission there. So I guess the Frau Fraus can do uh, multi-target stuff. They can do clean sweep. They're power swaps of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Argon King, or whatever it's called. The giant, yeah, the, the, the really big uh, Argon lizard. They have about 400, 500 hit points. A lot of hit points. Yeah, turn the volume of the game up, by the way, just letting you know. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, you can just go down there, right? Uh, no, it leads to a dead end. Remember, viewers, the long way is the only way. Yeah. It is. The long way is the only way. Yes. And we already demonstrated them, so I don't care about them anymore. You can go to hell. Well, we're already in hell. They can go somewhere else. They can, they, they can just get out of my face. How about that? There. See? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Game. Dick move. Let me tell you. But then again, you do have a map, so I guess it would be. I guess you could just go down the stairs and then see it and be like, oh, okay. Never mind. Eh, Metal King Slime. I'm gonna take this guy out. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'll do a, let's see, I'm gonna do a hip drop of the, on the, um, dollar hand, see what happens. Oh, we have a chance. Are you saying there's a chance? Whoa, I did two damage on the, uh, Metal King. Haha. Uh -huh. Did I do anything to him? Nothing. Nice. I love it. McLovin! Nice! And Dolhan doesn't get hit though. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's 30,000 XP that I didn't have before. Be hilarious if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, this game isn't like a. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other uh, JRPGs where if you run, you get the XP of the enemies that you've. Uh, killed up until you ran away. I don't know if there's any other JRPGs that do that. Or if there's any. I don't know if there's any JRPGs that do that. I imagine there is. I'm trying to think. I know there's like a ability to in Final Fantasy 7, I think. Or is that Final Fantasy 9? No, Final Fantasy 9 it's like you uh, keep some money if you uh, run from an enemy. If you have it equipped. Ability. I forget what it is. Either way, we got lots of XP. Angelo's level is 41. I like it. Nine skill points. I don't really care about bows anymore, so I'm just gonna dump it in the staves. And he doesn't gain anything. Despite getting nine points in staves, he doesn't get anything. That's weak sauce. Alright. And Jessica's gonna become more sexy now. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Nice. So I guess now it's a quarter chance that uh, enemies will stop and stop what they're doing and check out Jessica. As they should. As they should. And the uh, next, uh, speaking of uh, checking out Jessica, next um, item that you can get with the uh, metal, with the mini metals uh, after the Metal King Helm is the Dangerous Bustier, which is a uh, really good piece of body armor for Jessica as it reveals a good amount of her body. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Makes her look amazing. And has like, I think a hundred defense. It's ridiculous. Okay. Huh. Interesting. 
Oh, oh. we got a, that's a healing point. Nice. Can we keep talking to it and getting... Yeah, so you can grind here if you really wanted to. If you don't feel like you're ready for Rapthorn, you can do that. Yeah. Alright, now remember what it says. You have to keep going forward. If you backtrack, you'll... You'll have to start all over this... Yeah, you'll have to start this area all over again, so... Yeah. So just always move forward. Yeah, the town of the Black Citadel. This is weird. Look at this. What the hell? Yeah, Dragon Quest 2 wants its, uh, wants Hargon's, uh, uh, Hargon's illusion back. Uh, I thought there was any more. I thought there was one more treasure we could get. Don't even worry about checking the map, just, just go forward. You see a little pause there? That meant, uh, that the screen just, like, advanced. So, yeah. Oh, whoa, hey. What the hell? Oh, cool. Angela, the Angus. Nice. Whoa. What the hell? What happened to the governor's head? Is Jessica's head still on? Jeez. I'm gonna screw my statue over, jerks. See, look, the town's getting, like, boarded up now, and now it's in ruins. The counter rate's really low for some reason. I think if I gave you the image that, like, you're in a town or whatever. Got new enemies here, Gagantai. Which, of course, is, uh... Plural for Gagantes. They're, uh, a little bit, uh, more powerful than the Cyclops that you can fight in, uh, trying goalies, so, yeah. Come on, monster team, why not? Boom! Say what? Maybe like 400 some odd hit points. Boom! Love my monster team. Such good stuff they have. Some amazing attacks. I love it. Oh, easy there. Die. Do anything. Like I say, more than 400 hit points. Nice. They have a lot more than 400, apparently. Alright. Nice. Yeah. There's the, uh, Darkness logo, whatever. It's still looping around and around. Yeah. Whoa, man, the town's getting more and more destroyed. <laughs> now no one has their heads. Well, them. Way to destroy our statues, Rapthorn. Jerk. I think I've fought the Stone Guardians before. I think, uh, the, what do you call it, those, uh, bloody hands can summon them. And now we're in a prison. Interesting. Actually, this reminds me more of the, uh, end zone in, uh, Final Fantasy V. Okay, we got a random hell gladiator. Cool, I guess. Oh, yeah. look what we're fighting. Hell gladiators. But... Nice. Here we go. Strongly considering recording another video after this, but I really don't know. Oh, they don't have my. They don't have uh, many hit points at all, do they? Huh. It's cast insulator because, you know, Hell Gladiators definitely use breath attacks. Yeah, sometimes Archfiend can do, can do some dumb things in a fight, but whatever. He has Kaboom, okay, I'm not gonna lie. He has Kaboom, he has some pretty good uh, physical attacks, too, so. Lots of hit points. I mean, I'm not gonna just pass it up. Nice. I like how different from most other ends of the, uh, of Dragon Quest games, like, enemies don't give up absurd amounts of XP. Whoa! Our statues are completely gone now. 
Jeez. I like how the enemies don't give up give up absurd amounts of hit points, I mean. Or uh, ma uh XP, I mean. Like Dragon Quest 3, you know, every all the enemies have like a thousand XP at least and stuff like that. Like, you know. Here they're like, eh, we're just gonna give you four hundred. Just make them numerous. Isn't that how Dragon Quest 2 was also? I really don't remember. I'm gonna be playing it later this summer, so yeah. I'm gonna be playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Yeah. Alright, almost done here, I guess. Yeah, I think this is the final floor. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. So once you get to the prison, then you uh, have to... Then you can go down to the last level. We got new more, more new enemies. White priests. Cool. Let's go ahead and take them down. Get our nice little monster team going. Why not? Whoa. That just sounded weird. <laughs> I think they're palette swaps with that lost soul that we fucked in uh, the uh, in the ruined abbey. They have a lot of defense apparently. Probably got a ton of extra uh, hit points too. Yeah, yeah a good 300. So I guess all these enemies have so many hit points. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like on one hand, like I like how these enemies aren't giving up absurd amounts of, hit, of XP. But I don't like how they have this absurd amounts of hit points too. I mean, end game enemies should not have 400 hit points. I'm sorry. Why not Dragon Quest? I mean, Final Fantasy, but that's like a joke, you know. But you could do a lot of damage in Final Fantasy, so it kind of makes sense how you could have that kind of thing in Final Fantasy. Not in this game. This game you actually have to you know, think about what stuff to use before doing it. Not just be like, okay, attack, 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 attack. You know what I mean? You have to be like, alright, let's do you know, some, some spells here, some skills, maybe psych up a little bit. I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. Decent amount of XP, I suppose. Right. So we're past our statues here. Okay. Here we go. Alright. This is the final floor here. Yeah, look at this. Yup, just one straight path. Just the way I like it. <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking of doing another video after this, but I'm probably not. I'm probably just gonna do, uh, uh, I'm probably just gonna record maybe like two or even three videos tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Is that rap form? What the hell? The hell is that thing? I've been waiting for you, meddlesome fools. Are you Rapthorn? How the hell are you Rapthorn? Simpson, is that you? <laughs> Seriously, it's what it sounds like. Alright, can we defeat the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn? Find out next time on the finale, I guess, of uh, Dragon Quest VIII No Alchemy Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome.
Peace.